First rule when it comes to streaming, make sure that you are wide awake for the whole thing. I mean, I'm just saying. You blew it. Do better. Intro. boy Jason JV say welcome to another reaction video and yes yes y'all uh, if you didn't see my video on Facebook I have some original sound clips for the soundboard app <laughs> so we is good to go and uh, yeah like I said we are uh, about to hit up uh, this song it's another diss track for again a certain moron and this will be the, the last of it too that is until someone else puts out another diss track because hey man I, I, I'm here for for the laughs. I'm here for the uh, comedy. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, so if I can put some smiles on some people's faces at, at the expense of someone who actually deserves it, then hey, I mean, tis the season, right? I mean, we're coming into the holiday season, so forgive me for wanting to give. I mean, I'm just saying. But anyway, so the next song is up on deck that we're having a look at. This one comes to us from Menace, from Menace, otherwise known as Menacing Threats Productions. Shout out to the homie Menace. Um, he put out a diss track again on this moron simply called no peace this was the one that i mentioned in the nefarious reaction that i did shout out to the homie uh nefarious and Emily elkins as well uh where uh my man here like i said goes in on a certain moron and then he also gives a shout out to a certain reactor let's just say is a, who is about to react to this so yeah i mean Technically, yeah, I have heard this before, but, you know, it was my first time hearing it on better quality equipment. So, yeah, this will still be a reaction so I can give my honest, full, honest opinions on this piece. So, yeah, without further ado, enough of the stalling. Let's go ahead and get right into this. Once again, No Peace coming to us from Menace, produced by Anabolic Beats. And, uh, yeah, so without further ado, y'all, like the hit hit. <laughs> Man, I'm done fucking playing with your fucking punks. Yeah, Menace don't mess around when it comes to to the diss tracks. I mean, I'm I'm just saying, bro. Let's go. Gene team taking L's and Menace stays winning like medals on my chest that the captain stays painting. Look at y'all over there begging for some attention. My bars are like rounds up in my mag when I dispense. Man, we already coming in high with the facts. Talking about. You know, G team be be stacking up L's, facts. Certain moron be stacking up L's too. Let's go. I'm Gene, if you a G, then why the fuck you got a prop gun? Weird. You dressing Weird. up in costumes, telling me that you're not one. <laughs> and Mocha, why the fuck you stay yelling up at your screen? You're delusional, Bradley. Ain't nobody on your screen. <laughs> nope, he, he be yelling to a whole bunch of uh, ghosts in the chat, and then of course also be yelling at the them damn roaches that he be having up in his camper. I mean. Do better. I'm just saying. Or wait, why why am I telling you this when I can just, you know, do this? Hey, come on now. Do better. Hey you. Yes you. Do better. Ah. We go. King Cuz, you just don't wanna be rapper. I already asked you out cause you are never a factor. Next bar to that bird. Damn, you know what? I should have bust out the Ray Mysterio mask for this reaction. You blew it. Anyway, let's get back into this. Bitch, she fell down in the street. I watched the curb split. And what the fuck is that smell? Hey, yo, it's birds piss. And Gene puffing his chest right there with bird shit. And oof, oof. Damn, Gene, you, you, you went to that, that, that whole scat play? What? Nasty. Anyway. Oh, caught up in the background. He don't want to rap now. He's sitting in his camp every night and getting cracked out. And yo, damn, come Damn, yeah, Mokong, he's sitting in, in, I mentioned his name, but, it, well, fuck it. Um, staying in. Staying in, man, you talking about Bradley B, uh, be sitting up in, in his camper, you know what I'm saying? Man, with the roaches and everything. All I gotta say is, Holy motherfucking fucking mother! Could have said it better myself. Anyway. Get your son, I think he's lost it. The distant JJV was straight up fucking dog shit. Hey, there it is. Your boy got a shout out. And yes, facts. That diss track 
is freaking dog shit. Because for one, it's seven minutes too damn long. What? Two, he serenaded me. What? Oh yeah, if, if I mean, it, I'll leave it up to y'all. If you want, if y'all want to go and listen to that piece of piece of freaking trash, by all means. Yo, know, you want to put your ears at risk? That's up to you. If you don't, I completely understand. But uh, dude, actually sings an auto tune to me in a diss track, making it a love ballad. What the fuck? A seven minute long love ballad. And in that same diss track, he goes and declares himself the Freddy Krueger in this alleged war between me and him. Yeah, Mokan, you would be the uh, Freddy Krueger in, in, this, in this little war, now would you? Hmm? You would love to be the, uh, the child predator that gets burned alive, now would you? The music's bad and you should feel bad. I'm just saying. Anyway. Hey, yo, Sly, you pretty fly for a white guy. But please blow your nose, that shit is gross. I think you're quite high. And square, to be fair, I think you really need to grow a pair. But I have a question. Who the fuck cut your hair? I, I, I think it's... Damn, man, we're going in on, on, on old Square Bear's uh, hairstyle and everything. I look, truth be told, I shouldn't be, be calling that dude names any, or anything because I don't really know him all that well. He hasn't said anything about me. So, anyway. Um, but, yeah. Let's get back into this. Funny squares trying to act hard now Cause he's with the Dean team His Dean let his guard down I think it's funny these motherfuckers are so gone I know it for a fact because they teaming up with Mokon uh, Yeah, see, I, I, I can't speak about Gene Because Gene did speak to me Well, he spoke to me indirectly By telling someone to tell me to shut up um, You know, because he can't do it himself Because he ain't a real man <laughs> You come at me crossways man then i'm gonna respond i'm gonna say my piece i'm gonna address you and then be done with you um damn that's my train of thought but anyway so yeah i i called out the uh the uh, gene team you know because i mean hey you want to play you want to play stupid games you're gonna win stupid prizes all right um y'all want to y'all want to um support a chomo hey that's that's all on you all right, you you want to support this dude who confessed to being with minors? Again, that is a choice that y'all made, and therefore whatever whatever consequences comes your way, that's on y'all. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, nobody but yourselves to blame for that. Anyway, get back into this. Can't rap, no jobs, and that's a prostitute. Minutes on your motherfucking necks now. Do not dispute. Mokan claiming he sent money to Tim, but he didn't get the total right. Cut it in half again, then divided it by ten. Damn, he needs a friend, somebody who would tell a stupid ass put down the pen. Put it down, embarrassing yourself, Bradley. And we just here to witness it. I wonder how many streams it'll take for you to flip this shit. Oh, so menace hates his life, now menace loves it. The difference is menace can go anywhere in public. Anywhere. That is true. Menace can go anywhere. And not, not have to hide his shame because he has no shame to hide. You know what I mean? Menace has always been very outspoken, wears his heart on, on his sleeve, tells it like it is. Mokon, can you do that? No, you can't. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. I mean, we all know the, the kind of kind of uh, despicable, downright dirty piece of shit that you are. Anyway. You were 25 and she was 17, which means Mokon is a predator. Let's get him off the streets. You're a fucking pussy. Exactly. See, as Menace pointed out, let me play this back. 25 and she was 17, which means Mokon is a predator. Let's get him off the streets. And this came directly from Mokon himself. Again, go back to my video, How to Catch a Tummy. Tummy? How to Catch a Dummy, part de. Go watch that video. He actually says it. Under the influence of alcohol, and you know what they say about alcohol, it's truth serum, right? A drunken man's words are a sober man's mind. So let's let's keep that in mind. He said it. Perfectly plain English. Did not sound like he, he misspoke at all. Again, go watch that video. How to catch a dummy part two. You know what I'm saying? It's it's there. And then of course him saying that he was with a uh, 12 year old when he was 28 again said it while well, under the influence of alcohol how many people do you know or how often when or when, when actually let me ask this when you get drunk can have has there has there ever been a time where people heard you say 
anything about doing anything inappropriate with a minor. You know what I'm saying? Because I can tell you, I've been drunk many a times, and I can tell you, the people that I've been drunk around, they can all tell you, I've never, not ever, not a single time, have I ever said anything about doing anything inappropriate with a minor. Hand to God, never happened. And if I'm lying, let, let, them, let them strike me right now. Let, let them take me right now if I'm lying. I'm just saying, how many people can say that? Let's go. You're a fucking pussy and I'm playing with a stack deck So much of a pussy that he wouldn't get his last track Oh yeah, Bradley, this is coming to a boy Holy man, I fucking know that don't know how to change his oil oh, you a man, right? Little fuck, yeah, I drink, but I can handle it Yeah, we coming up in GT and can't dismantle it Oh my God, please stop with the nonsense You ain't taking any channels down, that shit is beyond flex Yeah, bet bird's mouth smells like dog breath I'd say go ahead and repent, but you'll be a whore beyond that Hey, yo, Tracy, hey, let's face it, you a gross bitch Here's an idea, get off of YouTube, try your road, bitch Smoke on Ooh, ouch, man, you straight up said, man Yo, get off of YouTube and try aerobics Damn, that's tough Or, try, try a little weight training You know what I mean? Pick up the weights Do something a little cardio, something. I'm just saying. Anyway. For the record, you ain't half the man that I am. You ain't never got on the track and ran half the laps that I ran. Let's talk about features. I've had none, Rilla and Little White. I think it's safe to say that Little Bradley has a little spite. He said he got none, Rilla and Little White as features. That's true, he does. I also got some, some who's who as far as like features are concerned. I got Jackson Pierce on, on a track with me. I got Wee Scheme on a track with me. You know, shout out to the homies, Jackson Pierce and Wee Scheme. Technically, I have Upchurch on a track with me. Shout out to Upchurch. I'm just saying. Anyway. Uh, Call him Tin Man. That grill is fake as fuck. And he won't come running his mouth, so it's time to tape it shut. You a spoiled little mama's boy. Bitch, you are null and void. Every record you drop, you sound like a robotic droid. Time to tune down. Bradley screaming too loud. With them fucking cracker bolts, his ass a little too proud. Ooh, man, we calling out that cracker bolts tattoo that Bradley has on his arm. True. And... The community has offered to help, you know, him get those either removed or covered up something and dude never went for it. Why? Because he a whole racist and apparently he likes to keep those Cracker Bolts tattoos to show how proud he is of being a racist. I mean, I should know he's, he's called me many a slurs. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, and he has dropped some M-bombs. You know what I'm saying? He's also dropped a bunch of uh, homophobic slurs, especially towards uh, nefarious. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, dude is racist. He's homophobic. He's a chomo. And yet he still has a channel on YouTube. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Anyway. After this, you ain't gonna hear me fucking say shit Cause everyone in this community know you a gay bitch <laughs> Fuck out of here I mean, he has abused some females So, I mean, that could be why I mean, I'm just saying I And in case he tries to say I'm spitting slander at him Dog, we can find your domestic violence registry profile On the internet So, yeah Spare me the lies. Anyway. I told y'all, man. Ain't none of y'all in G team doing a fucking thing. Not to me. Not to Triple T. Not to Brooke. Not to the worky verse. The dirty verse. <laughs> y'all just fucking sad little lost puppies. Fuck y'all. Oh, and by the way, I got a message for you, Mocon. Oh, uh, you, you been... You would have gave him the. Uh, so I know about this part here, but yo, during that gap right there, minutes, you should have put it the do better. That, that would that would be fire. Anyway. Uh, you would you would have gave him the two piece, Granny. Gave... <laughs> we would have went hand to hand. <laughs> I, ha I have all the faith in you, Granny. <laughs> Talking all that shit. That's what you're doing right now. Yeah, I like to talk shit. <laughs> at least you're good at it unlike Mocom <laughs> that's alright Mocom if you ever make it this way I'll make sure to put no trespassing signs and we got video cameras 
No, we won't eat it up there. <laughs> Welcome, Mokal. And then when it gets in here, we'll beat your shit out of it. Yo, shout out to Granny Ruth. You know what I mean? The OG, triple OG. And then, of course, the fungin. The fungin of all fungins, Daniel Armstrong. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, y'all, that was Menace with No Peace. I enjoy this one, you know what I'm saying? I love the beat, I love the flow on it and everything. Man, my man got had the rhyme schemes, he had the bars, he had everything, including the kitchen sink up in this piece and everything. Mix is very well done as well, you know what I mean? <clears throat> of course, Menace has been doing this for so long, so when it comes to the mix game, I really don't expect anything less from dude. And um, especially, I got to thank you, Menace, for the shout out, you know what I'm saying? That line, you know, the diss to JJV was fucking dog shit. Hey, appreciate that shout out, man. Uh, didn't have to do it, but I am most most grateful that you, that you did that, man. Like real talk. All right, y'all. Uh, nah, as you guys know, as I always do, uh, link for the video or this audio uh, piece here will be in the description down below. If you guys want to go check it out in your own free time, uninterrupted as you would like, go support the homie Menace, Menacing Threats Production. Uh, let them know that your boy JJV done, done sent you. Uh, I'm sure he would appreciate that, as would I. And, uh, yeah. And then, of course, don't forget to do all the YouTube thing things over here. Like, comment, share, and, of course, subscribe, especially if you're new. Shout out to everyone who's been subscribed to the channel and everyone, of course, who are just now joining us. Appreciate each and every single one of y'all. Um, shout out to all 7,983 subs. Boy, is trying to hit that 8K before the year is out. I believe we, we can do it. You know what I'm saying? We got plenty of time. And, uh. Yeah. Don't forget, we got merch. My new Christmas merch is out. You should be able to see some of the items uh, right below the viewing screen um, in the store shelf. So, yeah, help your boy out there. Shout out to everyone who's been buying merch to help support the channel. That means the world uh, as well. I think I nailed everything. So, with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. And y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. Just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. JC, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Patrick. I'm happy to have you doing it on the street. Who's saying what's up to me? Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're happy, I'm not being too happy. I'm not expecting shit. It's like it occurs all the time. So be ready to be on swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!